Welcome to Sippin' News, guys. Sorry for the short episode this week. I had a really bad migraine. I just didn't feel good. Enjoy the episode. Oh my gosh. What a dramatic way. What a dramatic way to start the podcast. Camera was out after two seconds. It's because I forgot to put an SD card in it. Remember, everyone, we are still noobs here, but we're we're learning. Well, we'll be a uh, novice or intermediate after. Uh, how do you feel? Eight? Episode. F- I was gonna say five. Five. Yeah. Okay, five. Yeah. But uh, welcome back to Sip of News. Anyways, uh, were you mad at me last night? <laughs> what are you talking about? Because <laughs> I was asking you to edit. I was like, damn. And you said you ju- you recently said I'm gonna go to sleep. So. This is either he's going to sleep out of pettiness or he actually goes to sleep at this time. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, let me let me tell you about last night. So nothing was wrong. And no, I was not mad at you, but I was a little like anxious to just go to sleep because I was tired. Oh, I went. I was at work and then um, I went out with a friend and we ended up going to like a a Mexican bar thing. I'm a pretty picky eater. We went Hell there. Yeah, we got there and I didn't like anything on the menu, but we already got drinks. So <laughs> then they got the order, like the total wrong. And we had to go back inside and get a refund and then charge the card again and everything. So and you were bitter a little bit <laughs> about just life. No, not life. Just that evening. And then we went out to another place and got food. But anyway, I was hangry for most of the night. And then when I got home, I was just ready to go to bed and you were telling me to like edit and Don't shit. Worry, I got you though. But I'm not that good at editing. I'm pretty like new to the whole like posting reels and stuff. But so I tried a little bit and it wasn't working the way I wanted it to. So I was like, fuck this. I'm just going to go to bed. So I was you like, know what? I'm not going to ask you to do that anymore. No, I want to do no, it. No, no, I feel bad. No, no. It's like asking me <laughs> to sell a house. Okay. That is a bit extreme. That's true. But, uh, <laughs> I Sorry. still I still need to learn how to do it. I mean, that's true. Like it just wasn't the right time for it's me. It's just it's pretty easy. Yeah. All you have to do is post the real trendy sound, trendy hashtags. No, I know, I know, but I wanted to We'll get into it later. It's the same thing as a photo <laughs> but a video. I don't need to learn while we're on the podcast. Yeah, but <laughs> I I've, I I felt bad. Like like if he was mad at me, I was like, "You know what? It's my fault. You don't know shit." So why would I put that on you? <laughs> it's not a big deal, Kyo. <laughs> no, because shout out to Mona. Uh, editing is low-key hard. It's tedious. It's really tedious. Yeah. I um, Hard on the sleep schedule. I, I'm really, really... Uh, I don't have a lot of patience, so... Yeah. Yeah. Eventually... I don't know. Is uh, is getting a editor optimal, you think? Eventually... So if we get big enough, drop your resumes. <laughs> yeah, you feel me. So I don't have the patience. So you for really that. sleep at nine ten? Not all the time. I was just really tired. Well, you texted me like you do it consistently. <laughs> no, just that day. Really? Usually it's like around eleven, twelve. Okay, okay, that's not that bad though. Yeah, it's like average. Dude, you know we have a hater now. This is script. Dude, I know. <laughs> This guy, okay, so I was at work today. That's why I'm, like, in work clothes still. But he was doing all the social media stuff earlier today. And um, we had this one guy on TikTok comment saying something like it was boring or something. I don't know. What was his name? I'm going to hold on. I'm going to pull up his. No, I don't think he actually watched it. You don't think he did? No, he's just there to troll. He said it's another tough watch. That's what he said, yeah. This guy's username is Cooper Dono. This guy only has 23 followers. Like, we don't have that many either, but we have more than that. We're not saying the followers. But half of those followers are like ghost followers. Like, they're just like, their username is like user, and then they have like 10 million numbers after that. They're just profile pictures of blonde chicks. (laughs) And you know, though, you know, those chicks, the like some like model European chicks would like. A thousand uh, following zero followers. Right. They're fake. 
Yeah. The, the, they're, they'll scan. Anyway, you. if he really did watch it and he was like, it's boring or whatever, then don't watch it. <laughs> Three words for you. Kiss my ass. Period. <laughs> No, but on that motivational shit, do you think haters is a uh, a good sign of progress? I don't know. I'm not really taking it too seriously, and we're far from that. But um, no, not our podcast because we're new. We we don't even care. But like, do you do you agree that more haters means more success? I think it just depends on how you look at it. Some people are not like they don't have thick skin, so they would probably like get offended then you probably shouldn't be doing this stuff because there's going to be so many people out there that are going to talk crap. That's true. For for me, I've, I've been in sales for nine years, and with that comes a lot of rejection, and now I just don't give a fuck. So I just don't care. Okay. Well, uh, I have really a question for you. You don't talk to him anymore, I assume, but did you, did you have doubters when you first came in the real estate game? Because... I believe at the time it was unorthodox, right? I mean, it's always unorthodox when you have like an 18-year-old going into business right away. The norm is, you know, go to college for four to five or six, seven, eight years, you know, and become a doctor, lawyer, engineer, whatever. Mm. But I didn't do that, especially when, especially when you're an Asian kid. <laughs> That's a bit... Yeah, we- not, not Not pulling the race card, but it... He's Asian. He can say it. I I am part Asian and Chinese, the basic yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I, <laughs> um, but it could be tough because not all parents, you know, from that culture really believe that's the way to go. Um, but my parents were pretty uh, supportive. Most most of the people in my life were supportive. Uh, but there, there was a few people that kind of doubted me. People in the business that doubted me saying that, oh, he's just a young kid, doesn't know what he's doing. He, he'll be out in two years. He'll quit, mm-hmm. whatever. So, I mean, it, it sales in general, sales, no commission, right? No, sales, sales is no all, al- all commission. hourly. Sales is all commission. You don't get a salary. You don't yeah. get an hourly pay. You, your results are solely based on your, um, your effort and your strategy and some people you know it has a low success rate hmm. how did you push through just there were tears involved yeah. huh oh many tears yeah <laughs> yeah uh what the fuck you tumba I, I wouldn't be lying when i say that i've literally gone to bed you know crying thinking i made a bad decision or whatever uh it's been a tough tough eight years nine years um but I've had a lot of successes too, and I don't regret it at all. But it took me a year to sell one house, and I only made like a few grand off of that. So imagine just making like three thousand dollars all year. Like you're in poverty. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then you know I I eventually made my way up to making you know six figures a year, which is what everyone wants to do. Seven figures even would be the goal. I haven't. That's done that goal. yet <laughs> but you know we'll get there <laughs> yeah uh i'm currently in that part of my life i'm not gonna lie if i met you in high school i don't know if i'd be doing school i'm at a point where like yeah. i might as well finish yeah and like i met you like three-fourths of my journey yeah you were already in it and i mean like if you're already in school and you spent so much time and money going to school just finish it at that point you're wasting money and time you might as well just finish it but if if you have any doubts or want to try something before going to school, just do that first. Yeah, we're not knocking school or business. Do what you want. The biggest thing that really ticks me off, and I see it all the time, is seeing people go to college, but they don't know what the hell they're going for. They're just doing their you know two years at a community college. They have no goal. They have no objective no idea what they're going to do with their life, but they're wasting time and money in, in school. It makes no sense to me. Yeah. Undecided. It's uh, it's a really scary way to live. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it is. And while you're working like a of, minimum wage yeah. job, if you even have a job, you know, it just it's a poor way to waste, you know, and spend your young youngest years, you know, where you have the most energy. You could do something creative with that energy. Yeah, speaking of energy, like I'm I'm put, I'm putting my energy into this. Uh when we hang out, do you think it's like hanging out or like is it a business thing these days? 
I've been it's noticing, like a mix. Like we've been businessy, businessy lately. Yeah, we've been businessy. Like we have, we're, we're doing a lot of stuff. So we have this podcast that we just started, and then we have a couple other things in the works that we'll talk about eventually. But, um, I I I think it's a mix of just hanging out and you know making it's our been ideas into reality. Sometimes, yeah. This is the year of execution. Right. We would talk about ideas and all this other stuff, but this year we were like, you know what? We're actually going to do this. We're actually going to do it. You can talk, 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 but what, what matters is what you I actually know, do. I hate talking sometimes. Some of y'all talk too much and they don't, you don't do anything. Beep. Shots fired. <laughs> Ooh. Like imagine like manifesting is cool, but it's only part of the equation. I know I, you I, can't like, and you know, it's like being, it's like saying that you're praying for it, praying for it. You can't pray, pray, pray and not back it up with any action. Nothing's going to happen. Yeah. That's you right. Know, prayer people... equals, um, what's that called? Prayer equals commitment. So be as busy as you are praying, you know, right. shout out father, Mike. I, I, I go to you for YouTube sometimes. Don't know who that is, but what he said. Yeah. Sometimes it'd be <laughs> like. It's basically, do I pray more or do I do stuff more? He How about said, both? That's what he said. Okay. Don't shout at him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, I do get passionate when it comes to like people being just lazy and not living their life to the fullest. I feel like I do way more than the average person, but then I still feel like I'm being lazy and not doing enough. Yeah. Like yeah. I get it. Like sometimes we have those late nights, like shout out my homie, Austin. He, he does sleep, but he works. So that's valid. Like people who just normally wake up at 12 later, I can't do that. You know, like night shifters, you, you do your thing. Cause you do your thing in different hours, but people who like, I, I, I just can't sloth around, you know? Yeah. We know a lot of those, huh? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Shots fired. You're such a savage right now. What's wrong with you? Huh? I don't know, man. It was it was just a busy day. Busy day. <laughs> Any stories today? Anything no. interesting? No, nothing interesting. Just uh, getting acclimated to a new company that I'm with. Uh, I recently switched to a different um, home builder. I sell new homes, so I'm just getting acclimated. Um, so, yeah, that's all. <laughs> yeah, for me, dude, I, I think I come to realize I'm not a low-key person, even when I try to be. Mm. Like I hate it sometimes. Sometimes I'm just just doing me, and then bam, I'm in a group chat. And I was like, "Who are y'all?" <laughs> it, was like, it was like, "There's like, yeah, let's study." It was like, "Okay, the, these this dude and this girl wanted to like exchange numbers, which I totally get because you know answers be answers, you know, at the end of the day." But yeah, somehow I think you and me cause a scene sometimes wherever we go. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I mean oh god that that's just our, that's just our life that's my life i mean i i don't mean to you i think can, you i think you mean to though yeah mine's calculated <laughs> you know how you know a lot of people think we're funny mm-hmm. not to be no i'm not being co- that's just what we're I not heard. being cocky it's like it just happens you know what i think sometimes i think about it we're different types so yeah, we're just trying. For to, me, yeah, I'm awkward on purpose, and it just works. I'm awkward just because I'm awkward. <laughs> you think you're funny, as in you're the joke funny? What do you, like I'm the joke. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, what ways do you think you're funny? There's dry humor. Okay, I have a, I do have a lot of that. Um. I guess like dry, ornery kind of like humor. I don't know. That's just. The you way think I you're talk. so awkward? It's funny. Uh, it just depends on the situation, I guess. Like, with me, I can't hide my facial expressions. Oh, truck. So if I see something that I don't like, you you or you put a stinky something. man next to him, he'll he'll. Oh my big. god! I hate smelly people. Okay, <laughs> don't go into. <laughs> Yeah, he hates smelly people. I just can't deal with it. I can't hide my face. I'm sorry. But no. Like come on, man. Bro, like, you saying you saying this as you the guy who explodes toilets. Beep. Hey, Shots that's fired. the bathroom, okay? Yeah, I guess. I mean out there. Like, 
<laughs> um, Do you like toilet humor? I mean, I would think a lot like of people... Like farting humor. I mean, a lot of people think you that's do, funny. You, you give Mona the, the works. <laughs> She'll be a guest soon. <laughs> she can tell you that story. Like, yeah, but... I, I just think it's hard to hide my face. That's the main thing about me. Were you ever the guy who gets roasted? No. Re- okay. We all have that. those guys. Well, in a friend group, there's are there even leaders these days? I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. I think it would be cocky to say that you are a leader. <laughs> uh, Actually, let's not say leader. It's the guy who talks the most. The, the coordinator of plans. Okay, there's a difference though. So for me, I'm like, I'm usually the coordinator of plans. I'm always initiating like with my groups of friends, but I'm not the loudest. I'll initiate and form like... He's the textiest. I'm the te- I'm loud in text. Um, but when we're all out together, I'm not like the center of attention. I'm not like the loudest one. I don't talk the most. Usually that's him. <laughs> okay, I would not call myself the main character. I'm just there's no main character. The guy that had a trap house this week, this summer, last summer. Okay, yeah, but I'm not gonna do that again in four years. But despite that, it's an every four year event. Shit, after that, <laughs> you you know the vlog. After that event, it might be after eight years. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we get like, yo, let's talk about it. What? Someone. Someone peed. Oh my god! Someone peed on our friend's stuff in his dining room, and the whole it smelled like piss. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. If you ever host a party, you need like a bigger house. I'm 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 from a. And this like, house is pretty big. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Keep the. It was like eight eighty plus. Yeah. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. There was a line for my bathroom. Oh, I was like. Hey, you guys really need to pee? No, I need to pee. Like, you know? Yeah. You know, I'm in line to, I'm I'm waiting in line for the bathroom. I really need to pee. Imagine I'm waiting in the line in the bathroom. I need a yak, and it's like five people they up here. They were yakking five. on the side of the house. Shout out Ollie. Oh my gosh, it was so weird. But about the pee story. Shout out Kailani. Someone peed on your purse. Yeah, for real. Yeah, it like, was pretty bad. I was in that room and I was like, wait, and I was pretty much like trying to make sure everyone was keeping everything clean and stuff. Were you like co-hosting? Yeah. Yeah. I was doing it from the exterior. Yeah. And I was focusing on the front of the house and I walked by and like I said, I can't hide my face and I hate bad smells. And I walk by and it smells like straight up piss. It smells like a porta potty in the dining room. It was terrible. And I'm not saying it was anyone but after kailani left she brought her bag which happened to smell like pee and it got better <laughs> so right i think someone did it on her on her stuff yeah shout out kailani you you cool. i'm sorry kailani you're the victim of that <laughs> no dead ass. it was bad i really wonder who did it though who dude we, okay, should we give people a recipe if they want to get lit? <laughs> just give them our jungle juice recipe. <laughs> yeah, just put pre-workout in it. No, the ratio. I don't even remember. In the we made some strong ass jungle juice. We got Hezron. We got my friends from Elk Grove. Keep in mind, Hezron's just—he's a bodybuilder, and these people from Elk Grove—they're like six foot, six foot plus. All of them, tanks. If I don't say so myself get demolished yeah the jungle juice you usually a junk in a jungle juice it's like food punch with a party but in this jungle juice remember it was the ratio was three punches oh, and five bottles of tito's it was like right? three tito's but oh there was a what's the strawberry lemonade one uh, pink whitney uh, and a big ass bottle of green apple vod mm. yeah it was so strong that one of our friends were passed out in front of his house. Oh my goodness. Half naked. Yeah, that that was so crazy. Like, whew. Thank God they had his location. We would have never found it. How come you him. don't host? Because of that. <laughs> I don't want I don't want half hey, naked Mona friends did it. like knocked out. Mona did it. House. I did it. It's your turn. Hell no. <laughs> 
No. What about when you have your place? When I have my own place, because I live with my family right now, that would definitely not not be okay. My own place, yeah, I I would be okay with it. Whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, that my house got abused, but how how was your uh, night? I didn't see you or Mona. I was so worried outside because I love you, Avon, but he revved his motorcycle. Mm-hmm. I'd like one I like, yeah. stop it, stop it. And my my boy Rami, Rami, like one of the only four white guys, he was outside drunk with a katana. Oh Jesus. So it was crazy. And my other friend, one of my homies, I love you, uh, six foot, he was like I was babysitting. He was uh throwing up in the the sewer. <laughs> I didn't even know that Dude He gave Georgie the work Dude If my house Was the The mo- the house in the movie It After that night Georgie would not want to terrorize us Yeah Or the, that clown He eating puke for dinner <laughs> You feel me <laughs> <laughs> Yeah that was a crazy night though Oh man Yeah I think The, the main thing that Like I remember is just our friend being knocked out like in front of your house. That was the weirdest thing. And I just really wanted to go to sleep, but I couldn't. How I'm... was the, uh, the hosting? How, how was your story of the host? Did you catch people being dumb? No, I just got really mad when I found out someone peed in the house. Like what kind of animal are you? So you're saying your, your night got interesting after the piss after that. Cause then shortly after that, people started leaving and then we found out that our friend was knocked out like outside. Did you think that it was an eventful night? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty eventful. Um, yeah, I, I only got three hours of sleep and then I had to go to work, <laughs> which you highly considered ditching, but I did not. Did you feel bad? Like tired, hungover, tired, oh, yeah. yakish. Yep. Yep. But yeah, l- let's give them advice on how to throw a party. No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. Let's talk about that when I have my own place. Right now, it's it's gonna be a waste of time. <laughs> mm, that's that's true. That's true. But yeah, I, I I barely saw you. Yeah, yeah. I was just trying to keep it on. Bro, control. you look stressed, and it wasn't even your house. <laughs> Dude, I was like, and I think you don't forget to Austin. mention that we were like collecting money too because there was low-key like an entrance fee is that a plus or a minus i mean people paid it <laughs> they actually paid it dude what, you know what's crazy what was it like 10 15 dollars eight oh eight okay because there was a dj there was a dj someone broke my frame but uh yeah hosting a party never again do you know there was actually a surplus when the party ended, we were like, what do we do with all this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not jungle loose. We're calling it toxic waste. There was a, a, a whole tub still. Wait, how much money did we make? Hmm? How much money did we make? We we hit around the... Uh, okay. Let, let's see this. So eight bucks. And there was like, how many? 80? 80. 80. 80 95 ish okay eight bucks times 80 okay theoretically there was 640 bucks <laughs> but uh, we only i only made 410 oh after the dj yeah okay that's not bad though for one night imagine if you did that every night <laughs> you know you only have to make like over 300 dollars every day to clear six figures a year I guess if I did that every day, you know, that's what Elon Musk did when he was in college. He turned his dorm oh, into yeah. a club. Yeah. But yeah, there was a, uh, there was too much alcohol. There was too much going on, too much puke. The house was as human as it ever was, but yeah, I'm glad it's over. I'm never doing that again. So Kyle, your turn. Oh, I'm not, I'm not doing that anytime soon. <laughs> Yeah. No. What life event would make you do that? I feel like not even marriage would get you that lit. Respectfully. I mean, I think we would host a pretty big party like that if we like hit like a milestone. 
like on the podcast, for example. Yeah, well, we need our own crib, though. You feel me? Because uh, people be yeah. uh, irresponsible. I, I know some people chuck some uh, beer bottles in my pool. Oh, really? They even did flavored they, my did pool. Did they hit Gion? I know he was swimming in there. Oh, yeah. Gion, <laughs> you, you look good that <laughs> <laughs> We had this one friend just swimming in the pool by himself, and he was just flexing on all the girls. Well-deserved. He'd been putting in the work with this summer, but... Yeah, well-deserved. Yeah, but he'll be another guest, too, but... Yep. Sp- change the subject uh did you see doja cat during that uh freaking yeah that red she was covered in that red red. bedazzle yeah yeah all i know is like people be like ah she's a satanist she's a satanist which i do believe but the first thought in my head was like damn she might be itchy (laughs) that looks really cringy like the texture of it like what if you look like stretch when they like pop out or something? That's what I'm saying. It it doesn't look optimal for fashion whatsoever. Definitely made a statement though. Everyone will remember that. Oh, dude. Didn't like Kylie Jenner and some other person wear the same costume? I thought Kylie Jenner had a lion. Yeah, someone else wore that too. I don't remember who though. You know what's crazy? Like I'm not a theorist yet, but some elite shit is going on. Yeah. Oh, I have a question for you. Do you believe in something called the embarrassment ritual? No, I never heard of it. Really? Mm-hmm. So basically, do you believe in selling your soul? Oh, fame? like what like they say some of the famous people did to earn their lifestyle and stuff? Yeah. I mean, that is maybe the embarrassment is part of the process. Really? Or like some sort of hazing from a I joined it, so if you so it's like joining a frat. Yes, but mm. in a public eye. So, basically, the embarrassment ritual is these artists, celebrities. Apparently, when they join the higher ups, they wear something so outlandish that people will question them, and that's the embarrassment ritual. Do you think uh, oh. Doja Cat? Like, have you ever Harry Styles? Oh, that man been wearing dresses. Yeah. And if you think of your favorite artist, your favorite male artist, if you have one, a lot of them wear dresses one time. Really? Okay. I only recall Harry. I don't recall anyone else. This is Kid Cudi. In a dress. What? What in the world? It's the embarrassment. Okay. Let me show you another one. Another one. This is Young Thug in a dress. It's a pretty common thing that, like, designers are even doing, though, for fashion shows. They're putting, like, all the men in dresses and stuff. How do you feel about that? I mean... If I was in Japan, I'd fuck with a heavy. Okay, that's Japan, though. You guys you probably have, get away with it in Japan. Yeah. You ever get embarrassed for being yourself? I guess sometimes. What 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 do you think people's ics about you are? I don't know. Like, I know I can be really like just too quiet to the point where people think that I don't want to be there or that like I look miserable or something like so you main... think you're just quiet yeah that's like the main thing that I've heard from a lot of people is I'm just quiet and they think that like I don't want to be there or something which is it's not true and you know you have an RBF you know yeah I have besties. a resting bitch face bitch, bitch face for like for real so how often has your RBF not been an RBF how how often do you actually not want to be there maybe like 20% Okay, would you say that's often? No. That means 80% of the time I do want to be there. Hmm, okay. Uh, for me, I think my ick is... um. I have a texting problem. Uh, I don't respond, so... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you know what? At least from my perspective, you've gotten better over the past year. Okay, were you mad at me? Like, we were new friends. 
Okay, well, I didn't take it too seriously when we were new friends because when we're new friends, I don't have really expectations. But, like, when we were getting closer, like it, did, when? it did irritate me a little. Maybe, like, a year after 2020? being friends. Yeah. Like, you would go hella long without responding. Like, if you're busy or whatever, I don't care. It's fine. But, like, say something. <laughs> I think I was on Do Not Disturb. There are some people like that. I don't I don't know why you put it on do not disturb. Like, if someone's trying to get a hold of me, I'd like to be notified. If I'm busy, I'll just say I'm busy. I don't get the point of do not disturb. Well. I mean, I guess. Movies. If you're. Um, even on vibe. Class. Know, like, well. Zoom. Real em- estate. Hey, emergencies happen no matter what Shots class fired. or job you're in, though. Like true. What if someone? Sorry for being alone, guys. Keon, what if I died and someone tried texting you, but you were in class for three hours? How would you text me? Already died. Bitch. Someone else <laughs> texted you. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. I, I'd be sad. Anyways, yeah. this is really weird. How do you think your death would affect your life, the people around you right now? Oh jeez, I'm always thinking about how. Other people's deaths would affect me because I I would much rather like not to be dark or anything and I'm not like suicidal or like that, but I would much rather die before anyone that I care about dies. Like, I don't want to like watch people that I care about pass away. Like that's that's terrible. Like I I don't like to experience that. Um if I passed away, I don't know. Um I would hope you guys miss me, but... <laughs> no, no, obviously. How do you think people would remember you? Or what do you want to be remembered as? Mm. I don't know. That's a deep question. Bro, if you died, I'm writing your cement tab. House guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people re- re- remember me just from my work. Uh, I do give a lot of good nicknames that stick. House guy. That's my be real username. Uh, <laughs> Bro, remember when we were at McDonald's and I put my curry in front of your dashboard? No one's going to know you as Rice Guy. Okay, maybe I'm judgmental, but if I was walking past like a car parked in the parking lot and I saw a curry bowl in the dash, I'm going to be like, who the fuck has, has a curry ro- like bowl in the dash? Well, you and me are different. I saw a car with curry bowls in the dash. I would dash. immediately I'd be think, like, damn, I want curry. No, I would immediately think, that's nasty. That guy's car smells nasty. Yeah. Well, it's in a container. Still. You could have food and, like, to-go Actually, stuff yeah, I'm starting to your agree car with you now. I hate Even getting... if it's a salad, it looks okay. na- look like a crusty salad in the dashboard. Uh. I have some friends that low-key judge me because I hate taking leftovers, and the main reason is because I don't want my car to smell bad. Ooh, I think there's this one time I left my leftovers. This, every... I did okay, it on purpose. Every friend I have has left <laughs> food Shots in my fired. car at some point, and I don't find out till like, the next day, and then I get in my You're car. Like, I'm like, ah, it smells. That happened like, to me a few weeks ago. Yeah, my, no. my, my car smells like drunken noodle. <laughs> Yeah, seriously. Pick up your crap, man. Uh, but I did it on purpose. It's not fuck actually you. being dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one. I, I wanted my. I opened my door laughing. I was like, I know oh I'm going to get attacked. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this guy. Hey, but it's lighthearted, lighthearted. Mm-hmm. What? I'll it remember, is. I remember that. What? I didn't know it was on purpose. <laughs> okay, but. I'm pretty sure things stink up the car more. Whoever peed in his house, do it again. Oh God, uh, I'm not. I'm not having <laughs> another one for eight years. Mm-hmm. I mean, the next life event I'll throw a banger is either my wedding or our podcast. You know the, uh, yeah. you know a milestone. We don't know when, but uh, podcast for sure for me. Marriage, nothing, no time soon. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 26. Wow. Yeah. It, it just re- makes me realize how ahead our parents were. I know. I know. We talked about it in a podcast before this, but our generation has it rough, man. Well, but you have it good. Is it just the dating life 
Because I know financials, you're cool. No, I'm not even talking about dating. I'm just talking about like succeeding in life. It takes a lot longer for our generation to do that. Okay, let um, me ask you this. What, from a certain perspective, you already succeeded. To, what, what's certain, beyond that? I mean, making money is one thing. Learning how to invest it and manage it wisely is another thing that I failed at a couple times. Um, just that just comes with being young and having you know a good living. You may not know how to manage that kind of uh, success right. So that alone took some time, uh, which affects you know getting a house and all that other stuff. True, I'm bad with so. money. Some I, when I met him, I was pretty bad with money. I, I really like clothes. I mean, you so. still do. But we're surrounded by it. You can't see it right now. But. This is a culmination, though. <laughs> like, I would drop. But, like, now something's in the mix. Let's just say that, you know? Mm-hmm. For me to die a good life in my eyes, I need to be married. Financials will come, right? You don't Hopefully. see it as a problem with consistency. Right. Yeah, and then uh, go to Dubai. I also want... Dubai? Yeah. Like, just as a trip? Yeah. Okay. Dubai's lit. From... Well, well, what's what's also my criteria? So we're just listing off bucket list items then? Yeah. Oh, okay. But no, I'm listing off if I, if I qualified as I made it. Oh. I think for me, if I if I do something, if I have real estate in Texas, I, I'll make it. Yeah, investing in Texas is is smart. It's the next, it's the next California. I know you Texas people don't want to hear that, but it's true. Thank you for tuning in in this short episode of Sippin' News. Uh, we're on Spotify, iTunes. Uh, anything you want to say, Clint? Just follow and subscribe. <laughs> zoom in that face. <laughs> Don't zoom in my face. It ended already. We're not doing this.